Hello everyone, uh, Slime Train here. Today is Tuesday, May 21st. I'll be going to my recap for today. Um, so if you're new to the channel, I make uh, videos daily, um, recapping on the trades that I made, um, uh, showing my PL and my entries and exits. So let's get started here. So I recently uh, created this custom scanner on Thinkorswim that will find flags. Um, so I've been using that. Uh, it's been working out pretty well, um, but there's not a lot of follow through on it, but uh, there, there are probably some tweaks and some uh, testing I need to do. Um, so let's get started. So it's a BBBY. So this was on my uh, scanner here. Uh, it was a flag or a cup and handle here. Uh, I bought the break and sold into this uh, push here. Uh, it ended up, so you, there's a break here, uh, sold into this push and it ended up uh, pulling back to VWAP and then going back up. Uh, that was $20 win. Uh, BILC, uh, this was on the radar uh, yesterday um, and I was watching it today. Um, so today I think it had, um, it had this little uh, support here around the 87 uh, when it broke it I took short there um, so I only got filled 400 shares I wanted to short a thousand shares there um, but I only got filled 400 shares um, and then just took the profit when it failed to break the 80 when it tested uh, 180 twice and it failed to break it so I just covered them down there um, and it was a nice cover and Kind of ran back up over VWAP, I tried to flag, um, but fell to uh, break out. And eventually it broke um, this, I think, 91 or 85 area. Um, but I didn't catch this. But that was a $16 win for this quick little scalp here. Uh, NPC, so this was also on my uh, alert, uh, new scan alert. Um, so this had a, a little break here, so it was a little cup and handle for me, a uh, little break, sold into the pops here, it was a $29 win, uh, eventually it had a really big move uh, higher, uh, like it went like one point move there. Um, OSTK, so OSTK was my big, big winner here. Um, what I saw here was, um, I think on the five minute, so I got I got kind of tricked here for a little bit. Um, I was watching this uh, this uh, support here along with the five minute break. Uh, it broke wick twice there. Um, I set my loss uh, just above this high of day. Um, I let it ride out. It almost stopped me out here when it almost hit high of day. Uh, end up covering when it had a push back down um, and then I held through this push and when it broke below um, the lows here I took some more or most of it off there uh, I accidentally picked up some I covered uh, like 200 share extra I uh, forgot to cancel one of my orders so I ended up buying and selling there and that was an $8 winner on that buy but it was a $123 winner for the, the short here. Um, so I took two losses on uh, SMRT here. Um, so the first one was this uh, break here. So this actually had a big trend move here that was holding. Um, I kind of saw it after the fact that I shorted it and it held, but um, sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. Um, but what I saw here was a little support, cup and handle forming there. Um, shorted there, it had a quick little move. It was like a four cent move, could have been a four cent scalp there. Um, but I ended up taking a loss when it broke above these highs. Um, when it broke above these highs. So I took a loss there, and that was the $40 loss. Um, I ended up um, buying long when it broke this here so I ended up buying along there and it, it had an initial pop and then I sold 
um, and it wicked me out there. So it, it wicked me out because um, usually when it fails like this, it can like crash. So I'm okay taking a small loss uh, because um, sometimes you'll have this move, right? Like a really hard crash because all the volume by here. So I didn't want to get stuck in there. Uh, but it ended up like popping just just a little bit up there, uh, which was mm, kind of uh, unfortunate. Uh, kind of wake me out, but I took another loss there. So it was like a eighty-five dollar loss uh, for the short side here and the long side together. Uh, end up fading back down. Uh, the next trade was UAL, so this was also on my scanner. Uh, what I saw here was this flag here. Um, we can see it's forming this cup and handle, a uh, little break, just sold here and here, and then took the rest when it broke up the five, the one minute 90 made there. Uh, and it ended up just kind of chopping around there. So overall, my uh, new alert is working well i'm still trying to optimize it and create more um right now we have it set up for my long uh, flag alert slash cup and handle um but i'm trying to create uh, my other alert which was my uh, reverse uh, cup and handle inverse cup and handle uh, when it's in the highs um so stay tuned for that um so as always uh so all these trade up a total of $138 for today. Um, so getting my momentum back, um, and the momentum is um, getting back to the uh, small cap, smaller caps since the earnings season is kind of fading away. Um, so that's all I have for today. So as always, uh, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh.